Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to test out some more healthy habits, except these are a little different. I found five somewhat strange health hacks and I thought it would be fun to test them out and see if they actually work. So no more chatting. Let's get into the video. Health hack number one, celery juice. Now the internet has a lot to say about how healthy it is to drink celery juice, but is any of this actually scientifically proven? Let me read you some of what people say. The first thing that I read said, now if you're a purely scientific person, stop reading this because there is no scientific evidence behind celery juice benefits. But other people say that you will notice clearer skin, improved digestion, less bloating, sustained energy, better mental clarity, weight loss, and stable moods which all sounds pretty good. Now the instructions for doing this was that you were supposed to drink it on an empty stomach, which was a little difficult for me. I'm currently 16 weeks pregnant and the baby does not like having an empty stomach. So we gotta get this juice going. No eating for 20 minutes afterwards and no fatty foods for two hours. Hmm. Anyways, we are gonna give it a try, see if we feel any of the benefits. Let's do it! Ooh, one more thing. So the articles that I read said that to reap the most benefits, you are supposed to drink pure celery juice. Now, I need to tell you guys something important. I hate celery. <laughs> like, when I was watching this, I was like, ugh, this, even just like the smell is like, <laughs> for me. So I'm gonna try the pure celery juice first, but um, we may have to make some adjustments. All right, the celery is in the blender. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see on camera, I don't think so. I just opened it up, there were like fumes coming out of it. <laughs> what was that? Okay, now we're just straining the celery juice through a cheesecloth. <laughs> this is like, seems like a lot of work and I don't think it's gonna be delicious, but I can't judge it yet. Okay, I think this may be all the juice that we're gonna get out of all that celery. Should we taste it? I read that it's better with ice, so yeah. We're gonna do that. Okay, it's drinking time. Oh, oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is... I can't, I, I can't even make words. This is just as horrible as I thought it would be. <laughs> but worse. It's like you taste it and then it just sticks in your mouth. How do people drink this? Okay, I'm gonna give it one more go. Oh no. No, no, no. Okay, I've decided that maybe I'm just a wimp and we need to test this on someone who doesn't hate celery juice. Babe! Special delivery! I heard you drinking this downstairs. <laughs> it sounded bad. It was. Maybe you'll like it. It's very green. I mean, it, it tastes like celery. I don't... It's fine. It's like kind of astringent a little bit on the back end. It's not awful though. It reminds me of like eating celery. Yeah. Like if there's like some peanut butter to eat alongside. All done. <laughs> okay, there's no way in the world that I can get down 16 ounces. That's recommended dosage of this, so I'm gonna try putting the apple in it and making it more delicious, maybe? Is this just gonna be a waste of an apple? <laughs> All right, what did you do to make it better? Okay, we added apple, lemon, and honey, and a little bit of water, and now I'm gonna strain it again and cross my fingers. All right, everyone, watch my wife puke on camera. Here we go. <laughs> No, 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 no. Look, babe, I made you one, too. Oh, thanks. Here we go. Now it's just like apple juice that's gone bad. So I think a definite improvement. I better try some. Oh, it tastes exactly like grass clippings. It tastes <laughs> how grass it. clippings smell. 
that is it. That is exactly it. Okay. Here's my review so far. I don't know if it really gives you any health benefits if you just throw it up when you drink it. This is not something that I think I want to make a daily habit, but I'm going to pay attention during the day, see if I have an improved mood um, or more energy, and who knows, maybe I will be a celery juice convert by the end of the day. I'll let you know. Okay guys, we are about to get scholarly here. Healthy hack number two. Chewing gum gives you better focus and helps your memory. Um, okay, I can't actually see out of these because I have my contacts in. <laughs> Research suggests that chewing gum increases heart rate, blood pressure, and cerebral blood flow. Chewing gum, in basic terms, wakes up your brain and allows you to concentrate and focus. Now, I feel like I already believe this one because who doesn't love that refreshing zing of a minty gum? But I do want to still test it, so Spencer has put together some memory tests for us. <sighs> yes, I will be administering the test. Okay, a few things to note. Number one, we're going to do with the gum first because if we did it the other way around and you showed improvement, we wouldn't know if it was the gum helping or just experience of you like having done the test twice and being used to it. The first one up is the short-term memory test. I have provided you with a piece of paper. The way it works is it's gonna show you a series of letters. You try to remember as much as you can, and then you write them down, and it's gonna be more and more letters each time, and you just try and see how many you can get right. Okay. Sound good? Yes. All right, gum in. My secret weapon. Okay, you ready? I'm nervous. This is just like being in school. And go. No, you have, you're supposed to wait till they're gone to write them down. I just wrote it down. No, no. no. So you gotta wait to some count of you. Okay, well, I would have gotten that one. Okay, let's try the next one. Can I say it out loud? I think so. I, I don't know. Ouch. Oh, no. R. B. Mouth. Okay, it's the last one. A Z quirk to boo mon RV. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Okay, should we find out? Let's take a look at the results. Good, good. Nailed it. Oh, P and B look the same. Circle it. <laughs> what? What happened at the end there? Okay, so I did really good at the beginning. A plus student. Um, I only missed one in the penultimate. And then everything went to hell in a handbasket with the final question. <laughs> now do we do the second one? Yep. Okay, this is uh, very similar, except it's with pictures. So instead of letters, it's pictures. Ooh. Same idea, basically. It's gonna show you some pictures, then it's gonna send you to a different screen, then you're gonna write down all the pictures you can remember. Ready? Ready. Butterfly. Oh no. Man, woman, camera, <laughs> person, TV. Two same babies. <laughs> I know there was more. You think you've gotten what you can remember though? I don't know. I feel like I could do better. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Okay. Let's see the picture. <laughs> oh, butterfly. Okay. All right. Score yourself. Oh, dang it. There wasn't a coffee. Okay. So, how many did you get? Nine. Nine out of 20. And you added one that wasn't actually there. Plus one that didn't exist. Okay, good. Nailed it. Our baseline is complete. Good work. Okay, it's nighttime now. Yeah. Do you have any gum? Ah. Uh, no gum. Okay, no P performance enhancing gums. So we're going to go back to the word memorization again. On your mark. Get set. We're set. Go. Okay. C-E-J-O. I think I nailed it, but I think I just remembered better because these are the same letters as last time. Yeah, I got 100%. 100%. Oh. But, but I honestly think I just remembered it from last time. Interesting. Maybe we'll have to find a different test, but it's an interesting result nonetheless. Yeah. We found a different test method. Uh -huh. But how are we going to compare this to the one we did before? Maybe I'll get 100% and then we'll know that. Okay, well, we'll try this one. 
Okay, on the count of three, open your eyes. One, two, three. Okay, time's up. Write down as many as you can. Okay, you feel like you did what you can? No. I feel like I didn't get any of them. But I think I'm just tired. I don't I don't think that this has to do with the gum. I felt like I couldn't remember anything. I wrote down five things. Yeah, man, I felt so unfocused. So I don't know. My thoughts are that like when I was chewing the gum, I felt like that was making me unfocused because I was like trying to focus on like keeping chewing. But um I don't know, I feel like I just totally failed that test and I could not focus. Mm. But it's also later at night, so... Maybe hard to do with just one participant in a study. Yeah, all of these factors. I'm not sure. Mm. All right. Well, we did it. We did the test. Yes, we did. Okay, we are venturing to the bathroom for this next one. Healthy hack number three. Tongue scraping. So this is a healthy habit that I know a lot of people do. I mean, there's even a tongue scraper on the back of my toothbrush. But I still thought it would be fun to try because it's not something that I do. According to the internet, tongue scraping can improve sense of taste, improve the appearance of your tongue, yes, very important, and reduce bad breath. So I was trying to think about how I could test this to, you know, really give you guys a sense of if it is worth it to scrape your tongue. And I came up with a series of tests that I think will be very scientific. Babe? Yeah? Could you come smell my breath? I'm ready. Aren't you so excited to be in today's video? <laughs> it's great so far. <laughs> Sorry. Juice, smelling people's breath. I don't really want to do it up close on my tongue. Let me inspect it. Uh, here, okay. I'll, we'll block it from the camera and I'll be the judge. How's okay. the appearance? I don't know, it seems fine. Okay, am I supposed to smell your breath now? Okay, your breath is pretty good. Not a lot to complain about. Really? Here, yeah. let me actually breathe out. Yeah, that's fine. Not bad. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What does it smell like? Uh, it smells like you ate some lunch recently. No more specifics? Mm, it smells like vaguely of like some sort of noodle perhaps, I don't know. After the chewing gum challenge, I was afraid that it would just smell like mint. <laughs> so I ate a bunch of sour cream and onions for mm. <laughs> That's pretty gross. Why would you do that? Well, I was trying to mask the mint. My life is spiraling out of control. <laughs> okay, I read that if you don't have a tongue scraper, a spoon will work perfectly fine. Ew, ew. I'm nervous I'm gonna gag. I feel like you should use the side of the spoon. The side? Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Oh my gosh. What is that? Don't, don't look at any of this. <laughs> you want me to film it without looking at it? <laughs> I need to concentrate. I need to do this right. Okay. <laughs> this is really gross. It feels disgusting. <laughs> Smaller spoon. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of gagging in this video. Should we inspect your tongue visually? I think <clears throat> I think I'm ready. Okay. I also did some with my actual tongue scraper just to be thorough. Okay, I will now inspect your tongue. No, not not on camera though. I think the color is pretty good. Yeah, let's compare. Uh, actually, yours looks more pink than mine does. This is gross. Is <laughs> anyone still watching? <laughs> okay, so the first test, the test of appearance, beauty. I think it looks good. My tongue was beautiful before scraping as well, though. Would you say so? Uh, yes, very beautiful. He always tells me I'm beautiful. <laughs> the next test is your favorite thing. Okay, let me smell away. Okay, here we go. It's maybe a little better. Maybe a little bit of that sour cream and onion flavor is gone. But, really? Yeah, it wasn't that bad to begin with, so I feel like it's hard to tell. And test number three, I need to see if my sense of taste has improved like the internet said it would. Where are those chips? <laughs> okay, will I be able to taste these chips better than I did five minutes ago? <laughs> Only my tongue will tell. I don't know, I mean they tasted pretty good the first time. 
I do feel like I can taste like more flavor now though, but maybe not. I feel like I could just be tricking myself, you know? I don't know, I think you're gonna have to try this hack for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you think it works. I wonder if tongue scraping makes candy taste better. All right, health hack number four, apple cider vinegar. What is it good for? Absolutely everything, according to some people. But today we are going to see what the benefits of ingesting it are. According to the internet, which we know is always reliable, apple cider vinegar, when taken as a shot before a meal, can suppress appetite, improve digestion, and issues associated with acid reflux. Now, I was really excited about this because acid reflux runs in my family. I think I have it, although I've never actually been diagnosed with it, but I think I have it. <laughs> and although it seems counterintuitive, I have heard that you can use acid in order to like combat stomach acid. So I'm interested to try this one. My only question is, if you are supposed to drink it before a meal, then why do you want it to suppress your appetite? I want to enjoy my food. <laughs> Anyone else? So I have my two tablespoon shot of apple cider vinegar here. I was going to take it like a shot because we're not having many shots over the next five months. Any shots, to be clear. But um, then I read that that can be really bad for your teeth. So, Spencer says we should Irish car bomb this and like dunk it in. But I also don't want to break any of my glasses, so maybe not. Man, we are drinking a lot of weird drinks today. Okay, here we go again. I hope this is better than last time. <laughs> Bottoms up! Wow, I thought it was barely gonna taste like anything because it's so diluted, but no, you can you can definitely taste that. I need to take a break. Oh boy. I know you did not come to my YouTube channel to watch me gag on everything. I know that. You guys, I think I understand why this decreases your appetite. It's because you will not want to eat anything after drinking this disgusting thing. Okay, this does not feel healthy for me, so I'm gonna listen to my body and stop drinking it. I still need to go have my meal and see if my appetite is suppressed. I highly doubt it. But I guess my thoughts on this are I would not do it. I mean, it was better than the celery juice, kind of. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like it didn't feel good in my body, if that makes sense. And it also just felt really acidic, which, I don't know, I just felt like I was gonna like erode my teeth, so I'm not into that. So for me, this is a no-go, but tell me, are you into apple cider vinegar? And if so, what, what do you think? Tell me in the comments. Nope, my appetite is not suppressed. Okay, actually, weird and slightly disturbing update, you guys. I just had like another bite of this and I was like, man, I'm full. What? <laughs> so I don't know, but the apple cider vinegar could work. Or maybe it was just all those weird things that I drank all day. That could be it. Health hack number five. What's health hack number five? I forget. Oh, earthing. Haven't heard of it? Me neither, until yesterday. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Earthing, or grounding, is a process in which a person walks barefoot on the soil, grass, or sand. The goal is to connect the body with the earth. Although it sounds like a hipster trend without any real purpose, many scientific studies back its purported benefits. Earthing has been shown to reduce inflammation, anxiety, and depression, and improve sleep. Hmm. It has also been shown to improve antioxidant levels in the body, which are necessary to remove toxins that can cause inflammation, disease, and weight gain. 
Okay. I asked Spencer for help researching this and the first thing that he found said, the most important health discovery ever? Ooh, that's a pretty big claim. So I'm expecting great things. The only problem is that it is a real nasty day outside. And the whole point of earthing is supposed to be that my feet are supposed to be touching dirt and grass. I don't know, you guys. I almost considered just tabling this one for tomorrow, but in the name of science and my YouTube channel, I will do this for you. Now, when I was reading about this, people said that you are supposed to do it for 30 minutes a day in order to reap like the full benefits. Considering the weather, I don't know if that's gonna happen. In the articles that I read, they made it sound really awesome and easy. They were like, you can sunbathe, you can go for a walk on the beach. I don't think they are thinking about people who live in Washington. But I am going to take off my socks and shoes and we're going to go outside. Wish me luck. Oh my word, I'm still in the garage and I'm already freezing. Okay, let's see if we can feel those electro currents or whatever it is that that article is talking about. Okay, I feel like I should at least try to make this fun, right? Okay, have a good attitude, Kristen. Okay, that might be all I got. <laughs> Is that okay? Should we go inside? Yeah? Yeah, I think so too. We'll still. Okay, now that we are back in the warmth and comfort of our own home, I wanted to give you my thoughts. First off, I wanted to make a disclaimer and just say that I don't know that I did the best testing of this hack. You were supposed to be outside for 30 minutes and I was out for approximately 3 minutes and 12 seconds. So take this with a grain of salt, okay? The claims from this hack that I was most interested in were that it can give you better sleep. I guess I'm just going to have to report back on that and see how tonight goes. I will let you know down in the description if I have any luck. Then there was also the claim that it could help with anxiety and depression. And I feel like that's probably something that you would have to like watch over time. You know, I'm not gonna like put my feet in the grass one time for three minutes and then feel like completely anxiety free. But I do feel like anything that makes you laugh, takes away some stress, that helps with anxiety. And like, that definitely made me laugh because I felt completely ridiculous. <laughs> but I also really do think that there could be something to it because if you think about like kids being carefree and like running around barefoot, I don't know, they seem pretty happy. So I don't know. I feel like we could have something here. Well, we've put them all to the test. I'm sure that one day is not enough time to actually tell but I'm gonna give it to you anyways. Here are my final thoughts on our five health hacks. Celery juice. No, I will never do that again. Tongue scraping, I would consider it. I don't know if it's totally worth it for all of the gagging that it made me do, but I would consider doing it again. My breath did seem a little bit better. 
I was just too much of a wimp for the apple cider vinegar. I think that I would consider trying it again to see if it would help my acid reflux at night if I could do it in like shot form so I wouldn't have to taste it. But I also don't want to kill my teeth. As far as earthing goes, I'm not totally opposed, but on a day like today with this kind of weather, no, that, that was not great. But it did give me some more energy to be outside and it's always good to get some vitamin D, right? All right, guys, I hope you had some fun testing out these random health hacks with me. Let me know if you had to choose one of these five health hacks which one would you choose? You have to choose one, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button for a new fun video every week. All right, I think that's it for today. I feel like all I've eaten today is apple cider vinegar and celery, so I'm gonna go have some dinner, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day and a very happy week. Bye! <laughs> that was a good shot. I just filmed the whole thing, the slobber falling out of your mouth, it's good. Putting that in the box. Okay. Ew, this is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, stop filming. Stop filming! Stop filming! Okay. I know, it's like so Baby